welcome to Tabletop Ready. My name's Michael and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to paint your Tyranids in the High Fleet Leviathan colours. I'm going to show you step by step how using these same steps and techniques you can get any kind of Tyranid painted. If you want to know how I get my miniatures ready for painting make sure to go watch the tutorial I made showing you how I do that. I'll put the brushes and paints I use in this tutorial in the description below as well as putting them on the screen when I use them. If you enjoy my content please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to be dedicating this tutorial to Mamu, my first ever Patreon. Your support goes a really long way to helping grow this channel, not just monetarily but motivationally as well. And if anyone else would like to support me in this way, you can become a Patreon or alternatively a member of the channel. This will allow you to see what I get up to behind the scenes on Tabletop Ready and let you interact with me on a more personal level. To make showing you how I paint this warrior easier, I've kept the head separate, but you could fully assemble this miniature if you wanted to. I've also undercoated the warrior with Wraith Bone Spray. This is going to go a long way to get some bright vibrant colours with a little effort. When it comes to painting Tyranids, mostly what you'll be painting is their flesh. So this is what we're going to be working on first of all. Start by painting all the fleshy areas with some Screaming Skull. And whenever you're painting, it's a good idea to thin your paints first, and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. Try not to go over any areas you've already painted, as you don't want to create unwanted texture whilst the paint is drying. It's also better to paint in multiple thin layers to prevent clogging up any detail and to make sure we get a nice solid base colour which we can work from. I like to use a flat brush for the first layer as it spreads the paint around more evenly and then switch to a normal style of base brush to get areas I may have missed. We now want to go around our Tyranid Warrior painting all the joints, the tongue and any of those little ridges on the body using Cadian Flesh Tone. If there are any wings or sacs, just paint them how we're going to paint these fleshy details. With all those bits now painted, we can move on to creating some definition and interest to the flesh with an all over wash. To make the wash, we're going to mix 5 parts Lamy Medium and 1 part for Lupus Pink. The reason I'm using Lamy Medium rather than Contrast Medium is because they both have different finishes. The Lamy Medium has a more matte finish matching it to the layer paints we're already using, rather than the Contrast Medium which has a more glossy finish to it. When using this mix, you want to use enough to cover any areas comfortably, but still making sure to get it into all the details. If you find the wash pulling up in areas you don't want it to, then you can just use your brush to soak up any excess you don't want. Make sure to let this fully dry before moving on to the next step. On some of your Tyranids, especially the larger ones, you may want to deepen that pink some more in areas. If you want to do this step, then use some Caraberg Crimson in those areas and again let that dry. The flesh is looking a bit messy after the wash, but it has created that definition and interest we're after. Using Screaming Skull again, take your time going around cleaning up and layering up the more raised areas of its flesh. Because we're using a thinned down layer paint, this should help create some nice transitions between the colours. You should also do this step to the fleshy colour details using Cadian Flesh Tone. We can now finish up these areas with some highlights. When highlighting, I like to have a brush that I keep separate so I know I have a nice point on it when I need it. You also want to think about the consistency of the paint. I find I don't use as much water as I normally would as this is going to help us give that strong colour without multiple passes we would normally need to do when layering. It's also a good idea to remove some of the paint from the brush onto some kitchen paper which is going to help prevent those thick blobby lines. I'm using Pallid Witch Flesh to highlight the Screaming Skull and Kizler Flesh for the Cadian Flesh Tone. We've now finished the fleshy areas of the Tyranid Warrior which means we can now move on to the next main focus of any Tyranid. The next major thing for anyone painting Tyranids will tend to be the carapace and weapons. Let's start painting any weapons and other details we want to be red using some corn red. Next apply a wash of Norn Oil to all these areas you just painted. Now you want to paint a chunky highlight to emphasise all the raised areas and details with some Mephiston Red. 
and finish these red details with a fine highlight of Cadian Flesh Tone. To paint the carapace, I'm going to use an equal mix of Nagaroth Knight and Abaddon Black, making sure to get a nice solid colour. The next thing to do is a chunky highlight using Xerius Purple on all the edges to help define the shapes of the carapace. I find you can almost use the side of your brush to help get the thickness we're after. We now want to paint the carapace's texture. Position the miniature in such a way where you're able to paint those little lines. I prefer painting downwards as this gives me more control. Let's finish the carapace now with some fine highlights using some slanash grey. And once you've done your highlights, use the slanash grey to add the line texture we painted previously. You want to paint less lines this time with the slanash grey, as this is going to make the lines easier to pick out on the finished miniature. The majority of our Tyranid Warrior is now finished, but there are still a few details left to paint. Let me finish up this tutorial by showing you how to paint all those little details around your Tyranid. For the teeth, start with some Mechanicus Standard Grey, then highlight the teeth using Administratum Grey. For any eyes on your Tyranids, start with some Avalon Sunset, then layer these up using Flash Kits Yellow and then finish the eyes by painting a line of a bad and black in the centre. And finally, if there are any kind of toxin sacs, you can just apply some Beltan Green Shade, before finishing up with a highlight of Screaming Skull. Our Leviathan Tyranid Warrior is now finished and I hope I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to go away and paint your own. I've got plenty of other tutorials on the channel, so make sure you go ahead and check all those out as well. I really enjoy making these tutorials and I hope you find them useful. You can really help the channel by liking the video and commenting below. You can support me at Patreon or becoming a member here on YouTube which makes a massive difference in helping me make these tutorials. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.